We are starting to get a better, a more precise sense of what it means when Joe Biden brags about the strongest and most equitable economic recovery in modern history. What it means is it could be time to buy gold and stockpile food. Oh, there's a deal on Russian steel case. I think I'll pick up a pallet. Just kidding, sort of. Yesterday, some of the biggest banks in this country, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, collectively lost more than $50 billion in market value in one day. That's quite a hit. On the other hand, those banks still exist, and you can't say that for Silicon Valley Bank. As of this morning, Silicon Valley Bank, or SVB, has gone under completely. That makes the second biggest bank failure in the history of this country. And it's significant. SVB financed nearly half of all venture-backed healthcare and technology companies in the United States. It also apparently held significant cash reserves for some of the biggest cryptocurrencies. And it's now gone. Federal regulators have renamed it and taken it over. And that means an awful lot of people lost an awful lot of money. And no, most of that money was not insured, no matter what they tell you. The FDIC only guarantees bank deposits up to 250,000. And according to some reports, more than 90% of all deposits at SVB exceeded that. And it's unclear whether those people will ever see their money again. In fact, when customers showed up at SVB's branch in Manhattan today to get their deposits back, Managers called the police. So what we have here is a 1929 style bank run. And that's not a good sign for anyone. The question is whether the people who run SVB saw it coming. The CEO, a man called Greg Becker, apparently sold more than $2 million in bank stock over the last two weeks. According to the site Unusual Whale, several other high-level employees of SVB, including Chief Marketing Officer Michelle Draper, Chief Operations Officer Phil Cox, General Counsel Michael Zuckert, all sold significant amounts of stock in SVB this year. Did those employees know their bank was in trouble? We don't know. And once again, where were the regulators? They're supposed to prevent this. Once again, we don't know. And the business press? Supposed to be telling ordinary people what's happening with business? Apparently nobody noticed anything. In fact, as with the FTX crypto scam, you may recall, self-described financial experts in the media were busy promoting Silicon Valley Bank as a great investment that would last forever. <laughs> the formerly great but now quite embarrassing Forbes magazine, in fact, named SVB to its list of America's best banks, not once, but five years in a row.